What's going on guys? We're now in a part three of the top 50 player reveal. We've actually got a couple of very good two-way signers starting us off. We're looking at players ranked 30 to 21 today. And at number 30, we have Anze Kopitar, 89 overall. So initially, I feel like that's a bit high for Kopitar, especially having an okay year last year. He had 60 points, which honestly is average for him over his career. It was the year before that. He had like 90 something where he really, you know, had an insane year. So I think 88 probably makes a bit more sense for Kopitar. Game face there though looks pretty good. So we'll take a look at the stats. 2A forward, obviously, like we said, one of the better 2A forwards in the game. 94 face-offs, so quite high face-off rating. 92 defensive awareness, 87 shot block, 90 stick check. So yeah, just an absolute defensive monster. Hands there are all 90 plus. Uh, even the sense is all 90s. Speed's a lot higher than I expected, honestly. I thought it'd be like 85, 86. All 87s with 90 balance, 88 endurance, very good. Shot there, 92 for the power, 90 for the accuracy, 90 strength, 87 body check. So yeah, very good, you know, solid two-way center, and those stats reflect that. I do think it's a bit high, though. I'd probably have him 88, and like I said, I think I might lower the speed a bit, and possibly even face-offs at 94 is really high, because I think O'Reilly's better. We'll see what O'Reilly has here. Quick look at the game face there. Not too bad. 89 overall, I think, well-deserved after winning the Conn Smythe Trophy, helping lead uh, St. Louis there through the playoffs. And he's got also 94. Okay, so they're tied. So what was it? Drew had 95. Um, somebody had 93, I forget who. A few moments later. It was Taze. Taze had 93. So, I'm definitely liking the higher face-off range this year. Good to see, uh, Kopitar doesn't have higher than O'Reilly. I think, honestly, O'Reilly could probably even deserve a 95. His defensive stats are actually, I think, even better than Kopitar's. 93 D awareness, 93 stick check, 89 shot block. Like, that's insane. He's a bit slower, though. 85 speed and excel, 86 agility. I'm not sure if he's that much slower than Kopitar. Like I said, I think Kopitar's speed should have been more like that. Discipline, 95. Dude never takes a penalty. I think that's tied for the highest discipline in the game. Hands are all 90 as well, except for Deacon, 89. Close enough. Shots a bit lower than Kopitar as well. All 88s there with 89 wrist shot power. 89 strength though, 86 aggressiveness and body check. So again, a very good two-way center. A bit slower than Kopitar. Better defensive stats. Shot in hands, pretty much identical. A bit more discipline as well on O'Reilly. I think Kopitar still had like 90. Yeah, so... Not too bad. So far, so good. Again, I just think Kopitar is a bit too high. And after that, we actually have a St. Louis Blues teammate here, Terry Senko. So a couple Stanley Cup champions. Uh, game face, I think that looks pretty good, to be honest. Um, so far, these are better, I think, than yesterday's. 89 overall, I think that's very fair for Terry Senko. One of the best goal scorers in the NHL in hockey today. So obviously, he's a sniper there. Let's see. His hand stats are insane. 94, 93, 93, 93. I think he has some of the best ha hands in the game I saw on Twitter. 88 defensive awareness, 80 shot block, 89 stick check, pretty solid for a winger. Pretty quick too, I don't think he's quite that fast in real life. 92 speed, excel and agility, 88 endurance. I think, honestly, 90 would be the max I'd give him, maybe even like 88, 89. He's more of like a OV, I think, where he's not super fast, he's 6 foot, 225, but he scores, has sick hands, and he's quick enough, right? So, I think his speed might be a bit too overvalued. 93 offensive awareness is really good, 85 poise, not too bad. Actually, forgot to check. O'Reilly as well had 90 points, same with Kopitar, so Tarasenko a bit lower there for like a elite player, I guess. Shot though, 94 wrist shot accuracy, that's unreal, that's gotta be one of the best, and everything else is shot is 90 plus, 87 strength too. Like we said, he's a pretty strong player, in my eyes he's like the right wing version of Ovi, as Ovi's left wing, right handed, Tarasenko's right wing, left handed, both Russian, both, you know, pretty big, I don't know, that's just how kind of I see it. Next up here we actually have one of my favorite players, Taylor Hall, ranked number 27, also 89 overall. Unless there's like a 90 here, it might be all 89s again. So looking at the game face there, it looks pretty good. They got like the Taylor Hall kind of no expression, almost sad face down to a T. So good job there. Take a look at his stats. Sniper. For me, Hall's like a sniper or a playmaker. He's one of those guys that could be both. Same with Patty Kane. So hands there, very good. 92 everything, 93 puck control. 88 defensive awareness, 83 shot block, 88 stick check. They gave him 75 face which is nice, and he sometimes does play center, so I wanted him to at least have 70s there. 92 offensive awareness is solid with 85 poise. Skating there, you gotta make sure they get that right. 95 speed and excel, 92 agility, obviously one of the fastest players in the game. So I'm really hoping McDavid is all like 97 plus for speed, excel, and agility, because he's even faster than Holland. You, you want to see that kind of difference in game. 86 balance, 80 endurance, so kind of like Dreisel, I feel the endurance is a bit low. Most first line forwards we've seen have had at least 85 endurance. The fact, you know, Halls is 5 lower, Dreyse Halls is 8 lower for some reason, and he was second in the NHL on time on ice, really doesn't make sense. I feel like Hall needs at least 83, 84, and Dreyse Saddle should be 85 if not higher, so hopefully they can fix that. His shot there as well, really good. You can see the wrist shot, slap shot, pretty much both average up to 92s, that's awesome. And then 86 strength is actually pretty fair, I think, for Hall. 85 aggressiveness, 85 body check. 
usually one of the best wingers in the game. And looking at his stats here, I feel like that's not going to change this year. And after that, we actually have Tyler Sagan, of course, 1-2 there in 2010. Also 89 overall, looking pretty good there. Don't see like his sick floor or anything because he's got the helmet on, but still. Take a look at the stats now. So Sagan there is a playmaker. Personally, I think Sagan's a bit more of a sniper. If you look at his stats, he gets pretty much 30 goals every year, but whatever. Again, we can change that once the game comes out. So speed there, they're pretty uh, fair with his speed. 91 speed, 92 excel agility. As you can see there, he's got 85 endurance. I feel like Hall has just as much endurance as Sagan. Hands are sick though, 94 everything. Sagan's obviously just nasty. 87 D awareness, 86 face offs is pretty good for Sagan there. 8 shot block, and 87 stick check. 93 offensive awareness, 85 poise. His shot there is also ridiculous. All 93s with 94 wrist shot accuracy, so that's unreal. 87 strength, aggressiveness and body check are pretty low, which makes sense, but imagine having like him, Hall, Tarasenko as a first line. That's just nasty. They're all quick, sick hands, sick shot. Like, I'm loving the stats I'm seeing right now. And after that, we actually have David Pashenek up to a 90 overall, so big boost for him. This one is tough. Is David Pashenek a better player than Tyler Sagan, Taylor Hall, Tarasenko? I don't know. I think, in my eyes, they're probably all the same. So that means either these three guys need to be 90s or Pashnak have to come down to 89. Would love to hear what you guys think, though, in the comments section. His game face there, that one's probably the worst one so far. It doesn't quite look like him. Some, something about the face, the head shape, I don't know. Just something's a little bit off. So, yeah, you can see there, like, that's what Pashnak looks like. Then almost there's a playmaker. I feel like Pashnak could even be a sniper. I'd have to go check his stats. I'm pretty sure he gets a lot of goals. So hands there, very good, like the last uh, three guys. Shot there, power's a bit lower, but accuracy is very solid. 92 offensive awareness, 90 poise, so he's got a lot of poise there. 89 defensive awareness, 78 shot block, and 88 stick check, so still pretty good defensive stats for him. Speed there is not too bad, 91, 91, and 92. Not as fast though as the last three guys. 84 endurance there, so right around the 85 mark. 84 strength, 80 aggressiveness, 80 body checks, really not the best physical stats. I'm honestly not sure how he's a 90, because looking at his stats here, like you'd have to add them all up one by one, but just kind of doing like the eye test here. I think Sagan's stats are better all around. Same with Hall and same with Tarasenko. So the three guys I thought were better. I feel like their stats are better, but the overall is different. So I don't know how that works out sometimes. After him, we have Brent Burns, 90 overall. Very well deserved. Obviously one of the best offensive defensemen in the game. I think they've had his game face pretty good for the last few years. As he has one of the more recognizable faces of the NHL. So they got to make sure they get that right with the beard and everything. Wonder too if like when he smiles in game, he's missing the tooth. So Brent Burns here, two-way defender. I feel like he's an offensive defenseman. So 91 passing, puck control, 85 deacon and hand eye. 92 defensive awareness, 89 shot block, 90 stick check is solid. Speed there is not the best, 85 speed, excel agility. I'm honestly, I thought Burns is a bit faster than that, but I'm not too sure. Sharks fans, let me know if you think that is more fair. 92 offensive awareness, 85 poise, shot there, very, very good, especially for a defenseman. Like that wrist shot, 92 power, 88 accuracy. You could put him on the wing even if you wanted to. Slap shot as well is really solid. Physical stats. Obviously, dude's a beast, 6'5", 230, 91 strength, 80 aggressiveness, 90 body check. So, Brent Burns can do it all for you. I think should be an offensive defenseman. And other than that, I think the stats are pretty good. Maybe a bit quicker, but again, let me know, Sharks fans, is that actually more accurate? After that, we have a goalie again, Sergei Bobrovsky, 90 overall. I think he definitely deserves this. I'm just curious to see. A lot of people think he's going to do worse in Florida because Columbus had such good defense. We'll see what happens here. I don't, just, I don't know which way it's going to go. Again, with the goalie, you can't really see the game phase. So, Bobrovsky here, looking at his stats, kind of similar to Holpe, all low 90s. Really don't see much of a difference. It's probably all just, you know, so close. What's his best stat? Glove low 92, rebound control 92, and the rest of it there is like all low 90s, high 80s. Obviously, Bobrovsky, elite goaltender in the NHL. Really can't complain with that. And after him, we actually have another goaltender, Tuka Rask, also 90 overall. You can see a bit of Rask face there. Looks pretty good. So, Take a quick look at his stats. I think pretty much every goalie, like that's elite, they just make hybrids. So that's pretty much redundant. Uh, if you guys forget, he was actually a draft pick of the Maple Leafs. So looks to be really good, all low 90s. Do you have any 93 stats? He's got a 92 rebound control and recovery. Everything else, 92 agility is high 80s, low 90s. Looks to be very similar to Bobrovsky. Pretty similar heights there. So we'll see final player here, number 21, before we get to the top 20 tomorrow. And it's Eric Carlson, so the other Sharks defenseman there. Just like Burns, 90 overall. I don't know, I feel like Carlson, don't count this past season, I feel like Carlson's definitely in the argument to be the best defenseman in the NHL. So I feel like 90, I guess because he has a bit of a rough year, is still pretty fair for him. In my eyes, him and Hedman are probably vying for the 1-2 and two spot. So he is an offensive defenseman, good to see they got that right. His hands there for a defenseman are absolutely ridiculous. 
Like you saw Burns, Deacon and Handai were in the mid 80s. Carlson's got 95, 94. Like that is ridiculous. I think I saw EA tweet out how Carlson has the best hands of any defenseman in the game, which makes sense. I mean, if you guys remember his sauce passes, everything else, the dude's just a magician. 92 D awareness is very solid. 85 shot block, 91 stick check. Very fast defenseman, 92 speed, excel agility. 95 offense awareness and 95 poise. That's pretty ridiculous. Shot there, very solid. 90 powers, high 80s for accuracy. Not the strongest guy, but not too bad. 86 strength, 80 aggressiveness, 81 body check. So that's probably what brings his rating down a bit, the physical being so low. But dude's the best offensive defenseman in the NHL, in my opinion. And looking at his hands there, skating, um, shot, even like the poise there at 95. His in-game stats here definitely reflect that. So that's it, guys, for part three here, the top 50 player ratings. Like I said, tomorrow we'll be rounding out the top 20, and then on Saturday will be the top 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'd love to hear from you in the comments section what you thought about all the ratings. As always, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you did enjoy the video, leave that thumbs up. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.